I'd like to talk a little bit about the art of contemplation and particularly really I want to pay attention to the fundamental foundational technique of the art of contemplation as I understand it and this technique is called pausing I'm going to read from my book The Art of Contemplation very short book available on Amazon Harvesting Pauses The technique of pausing involves nothing more than noticing life's natural pauses and then simply enjoying them. These are really, it's the, the simplest thing in the world. It's the simplest discipline, but you'll see it's hard in the beginning. Everything in nature pauses. If you watch any bird, animal or insect, you will see it regularly pause for no apparent reason. Actually, there are many reasons for pausing. When you stop in your particular activity, you become aware, more aware of your environment. You also become more aware of your inner environment. You may suddenly realize you're tired or that your mind was spinning or that you're breathing has become shallow and laboured. Pauses like this often invite a physical sigh as the body remembers to draw a deep breath and let go of some tension. The first stage of the technique of pausing therefore involves finding and spotting the natural pauses that open up before you each day. Once you notice them, you can harvest them like fresh apples picked from the bough. Pauses are here to be enjoyed. So it's a really enjoyable technique, this. How long is a pause? A pause can be as short as a single breath, or it can be much longer. You can begin this technique by finding as many short pauses in your day as you can. For example, when you're sitting looking at your screen, perhaps answering an email or a text, before you rush from one response to the next, try taking a few breaths between each one and perhaps look up and take in your environment. Another example might be when you're in your car and you get to the traffic lights just as they turn red. <laughs> Instead of feeling frustrated or irritated, you could look at it another way. Life has just gifted you a pause. In that pause, you can enter the field of contemplation. These very simple techniques can have far-reaching effects in your life. A day filled with pauses is a calm and measured day. Nothing ever becomes overwhelming or causes you too much stress. What's more, when you get to the end of such a day, even though your body may be tired, your mind will still feel clear and uncluttered, leading to a deep sleep and a fine morning the following day couldn't be simpler and this is the challenge that I throw out to the modern world try try find the pauses in your day in your everyday life doesn't matter what you do doesn't matter if you're the busiest life or you have a quiet relaxing life find the pauses they're there and when you find them they're like diamonds like you're mining diamonds because in each pause opens up possibility opens up silence opens up connection to your inner essence the essence that's completely at ease the essence that simply is a witness to life to the passing of your life and the more we rest in that essence, the more peaceful we are, the more connected we feel, and the greater the capacity that we have breakthroughs, breakthroughs from inside us about all kinds of things where we see things clearly with a clear mind and an open heart and then patterns can change, negative patterns 
can change on their own, just through us filling our day with pauses. And when you pump your day full of pauses, you're actually pumping your day full of more time. I mean, it's it's an amazing paradox. The more you pause, the more time you create for yourself. And you'll see that your life, your day, becomes far more efficient than it ever was when you were just racing ahead, unaware, from the beginning to the end of the day, with very little awareness of your environment, of what's going on around you, just busy in the stream of the busyness. So fill that busyness with little lights, little pauses, sometimes longer pauses, and learn to harvest them and enjoy them. And I promise you, you will see a miracle growing in your